everybody, it's Priscilla of Weekend in Paris. I'm getting ready to go on my next trip. I can't wait. So what I do in advance is I line everything up and I decide what I'm going to wear. And then I pull out the two suitcases that I think work best and I lay it all out and now I'm going to show you what I think is the preferred way to pack. Hey everybody, it's Priscilla again with Weekend in Paris. So, I've folded everything, I'm ready to pack, I'm ready to show you my package packing system, uh, or my method of doing it, for lack of a better term. So, I've taken my pants and I've folded them and put them end on end. So, one end here, one end here, then the next one, reverse it, okay? So, here's my pile of pants. And I laid them in the suitcase and they're ready to roll. Now, I've got room on the inside for two small bundles. Put one here and I put one here. Okay? I'm ready to fold those over like that and fold that over like that. Then I've already had my folded skirts. I did the same thing as I did with the pants. Okay, lay them flat and those will fit right on top. And the ones that are a little bit longer, no problem. All I have to do is fold that over. I'm ready to wrap it up like this. Okay, push it down. Now I've got room for for another pair of shoes, blow dryer, and things like that. So I'm gonna just go for it and stick those in. It's got my blow dryer here. Take a pair of shoes, and voila, that works. Okay. Now I know what you're thinking. What happens when I get that all together and then I'm in my hotel and I don't have a lot of room and I've put jeans on and decided, oh my God, it's too hot for jeans. I want to try something else on. Got that covered. All you have to do is undo, take your row of skirts out, put it here. Now you've got your package of pants, I like to call it. Just grab them all here like this. Let's say you want to grab a pair from the middle. Just go to the middle, fold it up, go to the middle over here, fold it up. Take your pair of pants out that you want. Okay? So let's say I've taken those out. You just pick up your package, you put it back like this, grab the bottom. Whoops. Grab the skirts too. Grab the bottom, put them back in. Here's your shoes. Fold them up. Fold these up. Ready to roll. Okay, that was easy. So no longer do you have to go rummaging through and disrupt all of your packing to do that. Okay, skirts go right back on top. You're ready to roll. Okay, then here on the other side, I already pre-folded sweaters, blouses, tops, okay, and two different sets. So I've got one row of them here, and I have another row of them over here, okay? And some people, I'm not like this, but some people put long sleeves on one side, short sleeves on the other, or they do it color coordinated. I'm just not that coordinated, okay? So that's ready to roll, ready to be zipped up, and off you go, okay? The next thing is my carry-on. So everything else that's not in here, besides my makeup bag that's going to go in here and my brushes that are going to go in here, would be my carry-ons, okay? My shoes. Everyone's wondering, how many pairs of shoes am I bringing? I'm bringing one, two, three, four, five, and I'm gonna wear a pair on the plane. Six. That's more than I usually bring, but this trip I just felt like I had the room, so I'm doing it. Then I've got room for my pickpocket proof purse, which is very handy. All of my uh, delicates in there. I've got a couple scarves, throw on top of there, cold on the airplane, my converters, go right in there. 
I have no idea why in this room I'm making so many belts, but I've got a ton. So I'm just going to roll them up, and they'll fit right there. Plenty of room. I've got a duffel bag that folds up. It's going right on top because I plan to do some shopping in Paris, and I'll need room to carry it back. So typically what I do is I'll fill up the duffel bag um, or my carry-on with everything that I purchased so that it's in one spot. So when I go to declare it all at customs, yes, I declare everything, and you should too. Um, that way it's, it's all ready to roll. When customs asks me, it's all in one spot. I just give them that bag, and they can go through it. Um, I forgot to tell you about one important thing, which everybody should do. You should make a list of what you're wearing. And even if you don't do it every day, let's say it's weather dependent, you should do it anyway because it, it just shows you that you don't have to pack a million suitcase, suitcases to go for a week. And um, my friend Virginia Joa, she's adorable. She's 21. She comes over and she sits and I have a little fashion show for her and I think I'm going to wear this with this and this belt and these shoes. And she gives me the thumbs up or the thumbs down. And then she writes it all down for me and takes a photo. So each day I know, okay, I can wear that outfit that way or this outfit that way. And what I love about her, she also writes encouraging notes like, you're going to look great. Or fashionista on the rise. So she gives me words of encouragement. And that's the last thing I pack. I just stick it right on top so that I stick to the plan and I know what I'm doing. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this little mini packing seminar, and I hope that you have a safe, fun trip to Paris. I know I'm going to. I leave soon, so make sure you follow me at Weekend in Paris at Twitter or um, on my website, which is www.theweekendinparis.com. And I'm on Facebook and StumbleUpon, anywhere else you can find me. Just Google me. It's Priscilla Pilon, P-I-L-O-N, or Pilon in French. And that's it for now. Au revoir.